Hyenas are members of the Hyenidae family of feliform carnivorous animals. It is the fifth smallest biological family in the Carnivora, and one of the smallest in the class Mammalia, with only four living species. Hyenas are distinctive and essential elements of the majority of African ecosystems, despite their low diversity. Hyenas, which belong to the suborder Filiformia, and are phylogenetically closer to felines and viverids, have some traits with canids in terms of behavior and morphology. Both hyenas and canines are non-arboreal, cursorial hunters who seize prey with their teeth rather than claws. There are calloused feet with broad, blunt, non-retractable claws are ideal for running and making sharp turns. Both consume food quickly and have the ability to store it. Hyenas behave similarly to other feline forms in terms of grooming, scent marking, defecation patterns, mating, and parenting. In the mythology and folklore of the human societies that coexist with them, hyenas play a significant role. Hyenas are frequently thought of as terrifying and deserving of scorn. Hyenas are rumored to steal animals, kidnap children, plunder tombs. They are used in traditional African medicine, while other cultures consider them to be witches. Hyenas are known for their creepy laugh and haunting in packs. Now, the chance of you getting killed by a hyena is low, but they aren't null. These animals might look like an average-sized dog, but they can surely rip you to pieces. And that's exactly what happened in Zimbabwe. This occurrence occurred in central Zimbabwe, in the remote area of Chiramasu. Zimbabwe's terrain is distinctive since the entire nation slopes up towards the west. Because of their lower elevation, the eastern lands experience more rain and more stable weather. The western part ranges in temperature from the mid-50s to the mid-70s and can be over a mile high. Although it's not as pronounced as in the eastern section, the western portion also has a distinction between the rainy and the dry seasons. Even though the majority of this country is savanna, which are wide open grasslands with little trees, there are areas with forests of old evergreen trees. Elephants, wildebeest, numerous antelope species, lions, and the story's main predator, the hyena, are all common animals in this savanna. Tendai Maseka, 87 was wrapping up a night of drinking beer at a local tavern on November 20th, 2020. He arrived home after midnight and went straight to bed to recover from the alcohol. Things have been difficult, and money is even more scarce than usual since the COVID-19 outbreak prevented tourists from visiting his region. The savanna is often in the spotlight during the dry season, but this year, local stories of missing goats and livestock have people on high alert. During the dry season, animals congregate more closely around water sources, which causes territorial animals to clash and to compete for prey. They must either invade the territory of another pack or pride, or they must remain in their own area and find a way to survive. Tendai has seen this pattern unfold numerous times throughout his life. While Tendai was alone on her nighttime stroll home, other creatures were present. The chance he presents is not overlooked by the neighborhood hyena clan, who's been keeping an eye on the guy as he moves through the shadows. They keep a close eye on him until he flips the door of his mud hut open and neglects to fully fasten it. The neighborhood hyena clan was looking for food as Tendai sipped his drink. They have been encroaching on local farms and murdering cattle, mostly because of their usual preys left the range due to the dry season but they're about to do something that will permanently alter their relationship with the farmers. The clan slowly gets closer to his house every time. Then they notice a human inside, and the thought of eating fills their empty tummies. The clan approaches his house, closed door, and they enter gently through the door's lattice. Although they have great hearing and smell senses and can see in the dark, their current motivation is food. The door slid open and wasn't very securely fastened when the bravest of the clan approached it. When the attack begins, Tendai floods their nostrils and only begins to pick up speed. His screams fill the air as the clan closes in on him. 
Tendai's struggle for survival is ultimately defeated by the clan's pursuit of the same, as they bring him outdoors while holding onto his leg. A nearby farmer passes the Tendai hut in the early morning and notices something strange not far away. She goes to seek assistance from her elders as she approaches this strange object and notices the horrifying sight of Tendai's severed head sitting on the grass. In order to verify the girl's account, a small group of local guys approach Tendai hut and they look inside. His blood is all over the inside of the hut and the men can make out drag tracks coming from the front door. Hyena trails all around his hut describe pretty effectively what happened that night. The men can see pools of blood where the clan reportedly paused to rip chunks from his body as they pursue the drag trail. They continue along the drag path and, as the girl had predicted, stumble across Tendai's severed head. It appears that the hyena clan was biting off Tendai appendages from his body as they dragged him along. They gathered the best of the body's components and they buried them. Before the men could gather them up, the hyena used their incredibly strong teeth to eat his hip and his shoulder bones, but they left his arms, legs, and head unharmed. The six hyenas in the vicinity were instantly suspected of carrying out the attack, so the authorities ordered government hunters to wipe them out. No other sources were located that could be used to determine if the hunters' efforts were successful or unsuccessful. This attack was one of Zimbabwe's 60 human fatalities from wildlife-related incidents in 2020. The Zimbabwe Parks and Wildlife Management Authority spokeswoman, Tinashe Farawo, said he confirms the attack on Twitter, writing, An elderly man who was killed by a pack of hyenas in Chiramansu, 87, was staying alone. He was sleeping in a hut when the unfortunate incident happened. He was dragged for about 300 meters. Drag marks and hyena tracks were visible. We are on the ground attempting to locate the issue animals and have a view of eradicating them, Farajo said to CNN. If we have enough supplies, we would have moved them from a densely populated area to less populated ones. According to Farajo, animal attacks are common in the summer. And as he said to CNN, these things typically happen at this time of year since it's the drier months where food and water are typically scarce, so the animals go far in quest of sustenance and into communities. According to Farawo, who thinks more than six hyenas were to blame for Maseka's demise, this is the 60th human life lost this year alone to human wildlife conflict. Farawo claims that at least three instances included lions, while at least half involved elephants. He cited a case from last year in which two young siblings died while out harvesting fruit as evidence that hyenas are also known to attack. He continued by saying that an excessive number of animals are to blame for the issue. According to him, this has been made worse by the COVID-19 pandemic and the degradation of their habitats brought on by climate change. In typical years, tourism is the main source of income for the Wildlife Authority, according to Farawo. But with tourism virtually dead in 2020, he continued, we have no money left to support our conservation initiatives. Now, if you take a look into the story, then why does it happen? Well, you can say that it's the government's fault, then that's their duty to keep the citizens safe. There should be money reserves for these kinds of situations if you live in an area where these kinds of situations can happen. You can also say that it was Tendai's fault, as he was unable to ensure his own safety. Ultimately, you can point fingers here and you can point fingers there, but there won't be any solutions from that. The only thing that we cannot get an answer to is, were the hunters successful in putting down the beasts? I, I guess we'll never know, but surely we can hope for the best.